Okay, today I'll probably get the flags right today since I finally know what the other colors are. Of course, the ones on the left, the Mexican flag and the flag of the Bahamas. And of course, our Norwegian flag, our yellow flag, which means what again, ladies and gentlemen, we're clear to go in. And finally, our red and white flag, which means there's a pilot on board. What ship that is, that looks like that uh, Costa de Zola, or however you say that again. He's been following us. Our sunrise over Costa Maya, Mexico. Not sure if they're working on that uh, sailboat over there or it just got tossed up there from uh, recent storms they've been having here. You know, I've been looking all over for this thing. Finally found it. Deck number eight. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler. And we're ready to travel. We're in Costa Maya, Mexico. It's like a giant water park over there, like the Mayan ruins. And those large tiki huts that you see above the tree lines are zip lines. There's the Costa, who we uh, saw a few days ago there in Honduras. Everybody heading off for their excursions. Morning. No, so we got all kinds of ships coming in here today. Woo wee, look at that. There's the Costa, Liberty of the Seas. Some rough water. Oh, we're back to the turtle guy again. Shark bait, shark bait. Oh, hold on, we're coming through. Coming through. Royal Caribbean, Liberty of the Seas. I think I already said that. All right, look at a Mexico flare. All right, we're in the Costa Maya village in the country of Mexico. sitting on your swing all right in the marketplace shop till you drop everything under the Sun here as in most ports and come out here at this little beach there's a boat over here you can snorkel and learn to dive Got three ships in the background and then over here you can come and swim with the dolphins, but from what I see, it's more like uh, staying with the dolphins as they come up to you. These people are ignoring them. Yeah, they're wanting food from their trainers. Not happening. Really breezy today, as you can tell by the uh, waves crashing against the shore here. Tequila, three different flavors. Great vegetable stand here. And then across from this eatery, and it's two pad, they don't have smell of vision over here. Because look at this. Hola, como estas? Hola. Good stuff here. Look at the size of this thing. Uh, what is that? Leopard? Jaguar? I don't know. Just its head. I'd hate to see the rest of his body though. Now we're outside the uh, gates of the cruise ships just walking through this part of town where there's uh, I guess these are fake Mayan ruins right here in front of us. Not the real thing. 
but uh, still pretty cool though. <laughs> All right, we're up close and personal. I don't think I could climb those stairs though. Instead of walking out there in the sun, right down the middle of the streets, this little walk path through the trees, stay nice and cool, don't get sunburned. They definitely have a variety of chips here. Candies and cookies. Yeah, they got Doritos and Ruffles. All right, we're heading back into the port after a day of walking around. Well, a lot of people are basically just staying around here in the marketplace. But uh, if you want, there's bus rides downtown, trolleys, scooters, mopeds, bicycles, golf carts, taxi cab rides, there's all kinds of transportation. And uh, believe me, they'll try to haggle with you to take their rides. You could probably haggle back, get something cheaper. But there's a lot of ways to get around here. But like I said, most people are just staying around the market area, eating and drinking. Probably different tequilas. Look at Leslie. Leslie wants you to buy something from him. It says, oh, no, I don't need any tequila. Oh, come on, it's like Mexican breakfast. It's like tequila and cereal. Put some milk on it. There you go, tequila with your cereal and your Fruit Loops. This map gives you a little information on all the distilleries in Mexico and where the 12 major distilleries are of tequila in the country. Looks like most of them are all down here in this region. Came into this tequila shop and there there's nothing but tequila in here. <laughs> By the hundreds of bottles. This dolphin makes a sound. Swim up to the bar. Every resort has one. Pretty nice, not as big as the other one, but still pretty nice. You have a waterfall, volleyball. A lot of people just coming off the ship, coming here to the pool, not doing anything else. Just lounging in the sun and drinking a lot of tequila on this island. Another big old party at the pool. You can cross over this uh, rope bridge. A lot of people just relaxing in the sun. That's WrestleMania. Without the mania. Now you know why it wears a mask. You should smell the fumes on this thing. Okay, they, they are into their football down here. All these uh, tiki masks with different football teams, colleges, and your cigars. where a lot of people come to Mexico for all this stuff right here over the counter you don't need to go to your doctor and get this and people are walking out of here with a lot of drugs because it's cheap and it's the same thing back in the United States Viagra Cialis all kinds of 
you name it, it's over here, and it's cheap, and it's over the counter. You don't need to spend a uh, 200 bucks to go see your doctor for two seconds, and tell and you get a prescription for this stuff. So it's amazing how people come to these drugstores and buy all this stuff. There you go. Well, like I said, a lot of people come down here and get a lot of their uh, medicine and everything. <laughs> the guy I just talked to, he bought a whole bunch of boxes of uh, Cialis and Viagra and some Z-Packs. Because it's a lot cheaper, like I keep repeating myself. But uh, that's the way to go, and that's why so many people, when they're down in Mexico, buy all their drugs. Right, we're just heading back to the ship. This is a pretty good marketplace. A lot of stuff in here. Because they pay too much rent. Still a lot of people coming off these ships. I guess to take later tours. Just remember everybody to be back on by 4.30. Look at these guys here. Holy mackerel. Along with the rest of the crowd, some are coming off. And some are coming on. All right, the pilgrimage back to one of your ships here. Say goodbye to Kosamaya. camera off here shortly. Yep, our boat's getting pounded pretty good here too. Yeah. All right, back on the ship again. Well, you never know what you're gonna get when you walk into your room over here I have my elephant the rabbit is gone and Marco my room steward left me a dinosaur well, that Cosa is definitely an older ship there's basically nothing on there it's probably all adults and of course next to you Liberty of the Seas from Norwegian got the flow rider a lot of water slides, is that one on the right? You get in the tube, go down the, uh, the slide there and then up the other side, up that wall. There they 
and I guarantee you some of these people that are coming are part of our ship. Most of them are with uh, the coast of Royal Caribbean. But uh, I don't think we're going to be leaving on time today. Unlike when we were in Honduras, everybody's booing those two people. And then, of course, in Belize, we left one guy. But today, who knows? We might be here a while. All right, well, we waited a half hour longer than we are supposed to. And it looks like we're leaving five people behind. Oh, here comes a runner. Here comes a runner. Let's go. We're going. You better get on here. <laughs> no, the one running behind you. Let's go. Get a watch. Start off leaving 10 behind, then 5 behind, and I think the final count was 2 left behind. So we are now pushing off to our next destination, which would be Cozumel, Mexico. Got the pilot boat out there, and he's got his son with him. That's really cool. The goodbye music. with two more inhabitants on the country of Mexico that we left behind. Goodbye little ship and giant ship. Yeah, these ships are just getting bigger and bigger. Well, as always, another beautiful sunset tonight. In the background is the Cosa we both just left Costa Maya and on to our next port of call. Just shows you the different speeds we're going. The Costa over there was way behind us a while ago. Now it's pulled up along next to us. He's definitely moving a lot faster because like we said our next stop is Cozumel which is basically just down the road a bit. So we're going to be poking along. This guy's moving out. Pretty spectacular moonrise over the water there. Let's go, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Looks like nothing's gonna happen here. Nope. Not even close. And here we go. Uh, we got a, a dollar. dollar and a quarter. A dollar. Gamble time, try your win at Lady Luck and pay off the house. Life is slowly dying off and everybody is heading to bed because tomorrow is our last port of call in Cozumel, Mexico. And on that note, Traveler out!